What is up amigos? Today we're talking about something called rear wheel air blowing and this is quite a new technology and it actually comes about because of a problem that we have kind of created for cars. So to begin with back in like the 1970s and even earlier, cars were generally very sharp and very blocky. So if you look at the back of a lot of cars from the 1970s, for example, it looks very much like this. So it comes along, terminates very sharply, and then it's very flat and the other side is sharp as well. As a result, when the flow comes along here, it separates very smoothly. It might come around a little bit, but it's still very sharp. So we have a very distinct wake. And to get rid of these sharp edges, we rounded these corners and that generally helps with reducing the wake size but then we introduced other problems. So looking at these two general figures here, these are more like the rear ends of cars these days. So you have this one here, which is very much like a lot of hatchbacks these days, a lot of little city cars, where it has a little bump coming out for the rear wheel and then it sucks back in. But even without the city wheel car, like the, the um, sedans and whatever, they have a rear like this. And what this does is as the flow comes along here, it now gets sucked in even more because it can stay attached around at this curve a little bit better. And that gives it some amount of lateral velocity. So now the flow is going more into this wake region. And from a wake size reduction point of view, this is a good thing because you can get the wake smaller, but this does two things. First of all, as the flow comes along here, it tends to roll up. So we can get a lot of vorticity happening here that increases the vortex drag. And also because we have now this somewhat unsteady nature where the flow comes along here and it will separate at some point along here, we can get something called flapping, which is where you have the flow on this side coming along, will go in this way and then push this flow out and then vice versa as they flap back and forth because the point at which the flow separates changes a little bit with time. That increases the unsteadiness on the car and the forces then start to change a little bit. So to overcome these major main problems, these uh, vortex production and the unsteadiness, we can use something called rear wheel air blowing. And this information comes from quite a few papers, but one, for example, is city car drag reduction by means of flow control devices. It shows that if you have the rear wheel, so you have the wheel in this region here, and you start venting out flow through a slot in the back, and you can do the same thing for this one too. So the flow that goes into the wheelhouses, which if you don't know about wheelhouse flows, check out this video here. That flow, which is usually pretty dead flow anyway, and is creating a lot of drag, you can then vent out through this and jettison it this way so that the flow coming along here hits this point and also gets pushed out more as well. That way we reduce the vorticity that's being uh, produced here. And also we're making a point here that the flow will separate. So we know that the flow is now going to be much more steady. In addition to that, we also allow the flow inside the wheelhouse to be able to escape, which can reduce the drag depending on where you put this slot. That's a little bit of a, a um, bit more of a, an art than a science really, because it, it changes from car to car these days, particularly what's happening in the wheelhouse. But there is potential to reduce the drag there too. So all of this can stabilize the wake and the drag reductions that we get are not that great. They're not like, you know, 50 counts or whatever. They're more in the range of like three to five counts, but it is still something and it does help the car reduce the drag a little bit and also become more stable at higher speeds as well. So that is rear wheel air blowing. If you liked this video, make sure to click the like and subscribe buttons and we'll see you soon. Peace amigos.